Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Ushanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. В эфире программа Ушанка Show. My name is Sergey, also known as John Wayne Cheeseburger, and I was born in the USSR. Меня зовут Сергей, я родился в Советском Союзе. So in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit more about newspapers in the Soviet Union. We'll talk about газеты. And I guess you can say we are going to talk about Soviet life hacks that involve the newspapers. Number one. Number one. Newspapers in the Soviet Union were widely utilized as a toilet paper, mostly because toilet paper wasn't available in many places. Like in my village back in Ukraine, there was never toilet paper for sale. And I really don't know if you can call it a life hack that using a newspaper instead of toilet paper, but some people mentioned that if you do that, you may don't want to use size that has a large photos published because apparently it's contained lead and you don't want to introduce lead up to your butthole. It's kind of interesting, but they actually sold special newspaper holders for the bathrooms. Like at this picture, this is actual outhouse of my mom's out in the village, and she installed that new plastic for the toilet paper roll, but there's original one below it, that's the one for the newspapers. Number two. Number two. Wallpaper base. And that's kind of interesting, if you remodel old Soviet apartment, there's a good chance you're going to start ripping off the wallpaper, and that's what was popular in the Soviet Union. No one painted walls like here they do in America, it was always new wallpaper. So if you rip the wallpaper, you might discover old newspapers glued on a concrete walls. There were two reasons why people used the newspapers as the base before gluing down the wallpaper. First of all, the walls were, of course, imperfect. And there was a shortage of any materials you can purchase in a hardware store to smooth walls up. So the cheapest way was just to glue the newspapers and they will smooth imperfections and they will uh, seal the cracks. The second reason was additional insulation. So of course concrete walls they don't hold heat really well so people utilize newspapers adding an extra layer of insulation in your apartment. Especially if you have outside walls. Like outside from your apartment, next side is not another apartment but it's outside. Number three. Number three. Newspapers were heavily used, especially in the villages, for making their own cigarettes. For example, my grandpa did it all the time. He grew his own tobacco. And since you couldn't purchase any paper for making your own cigarettes, uh, he used the newspaper. And all I can imagine, we already know that tobacco is not good for your health. So inhaling tobacco smoke plus burning newspaper and inhaling that smoke, that was just probably not a good idea. Number four. Number four. Soviet people used quite extensively newspapers as a packing material, especially for the different uh, foodstuffs. For example, many workers would wrap their sandwiches, or as we call them, butterbrot, into the newspaper uh, to bring to work for lunch. But during the Stalin days, uh, using newspaper for your butterbrot could get you in serial trouble. I uh, heard stories that... You know, somebody would have its lunch and other worker would notice there's a grease spot on a portrait of Comrade Stalin which your wife used to wrap your sandwich and you get reported and you might uh, gonna have your lunch now somewhere out in Siberia cutting trees. Number five. Personally, if I think about food and newspapers, I always think first of all about the most popular snack in the Soviet Union, fried sunflower seeds. Usually old grandma's babushki will be sitting with the bag of the sunflower seeds and sell them by the glass. And one glass will be 10 kopecks and then she'll make this cone-shaped uh, funnel thing out of newspaper, pour those sunflower seeds for you. Number six. Number six. Newspapers are perfect to make a quick uh, covering for your table. So your food won't be laying on something dirty. That was, if you go have a picnic, if you have a beer with your friends by the beer place, uh, newspapers were indispensable. Number seven. 
I already mentioned my video about books in the Soviet Union that returning old newspapers can uh, give you opportunity to buy some hard to find a book. So newspapers was the easiest way to collect enough kilograms uh, to earn the book because everyone subscribed to at least one, two or even three newspapers and they came daily. And just a quick reminder for my friends who are trying to learn Russian, the word is makulatura. Makulatura. So that's the old newspapers and other paper goods that you bring for recycling. Makulatura. Number eight. Of course, newspapers are great for putting on the seat. So, for example, if you come to the football game and soccer game, and the benches are wet, you put some newspaper. It also works great for dirty surfaces or uh, keeps your butt warm because it gives extra insulation. Number nine. Newspaper hats. This is kind of interesting. I usually only see it when people on the beach or maybe in, during the hot summer days. That was a quick way of protect your head, especially if you're a bold person. Uh, from the sun, you just quickly make a hat out of newspaper. And a lot of times, as you could see it also on the beach, that uh, even girls will uh, make the, I won't call it cute, but they'll make a hat to protect their hair or face from the sun. And it's kind of funny, but the Russian YouTube uh, had quite a few videos with instructions how to make a hat, different style hats, out of old newspapers. Okay, comrades, so I hope you enjoyed this story, maybe learn something new. As always, don't forget to like this video and share with your friends. We'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye. And as a little bonus, I decided to show you one of the Soviet newspapers. This is that famous Сельская жизнь, the village life that my grandfather used to subscribe to. This issue my mom found it in her house. This is Friday, November 7, 1969. So November 7, this is a celebration of October Revolution. So here it says, Dazdrastvit Veliki Oktyabr. Glory to the Great October. And... There's a meeting in the Kremlin dedicated to the 52nd anniversary of October Revolution. So, it said, huge. Comrade Podgorny has a report. So, pretty much the whole giant front page is just a bunch of uh, communist blah, blah, blah. Созидательная сила идеи Ленинизма, the creative power of ideas of Leninism in ideas of October. Try to kind of like give you guys the whole view of the newspaper. It's pretty impressive that it's still... And it's definitely yellow, but and as I mentioned, you know, there's the award. Surprising that it survived, didn't go to the toilet paper. And once again, the second or third page is just this giant. I don't think anyone read that. It's just a report about. Let's see what they're talking here. Lenin's uh, politica, so it's like policy outside the country is the policy of the SSR fighting against imperialism for peace and safety of all the people. And it's interesting, this is a famous... <laughs> See, this says applaudismenti, so that's the... Uh, everyone applauds. Applauds, applauds, and then burne applaudismenti, so that's like really hard applauding. And actually uh, mentioning there's a Someone from Republic of South Vietnam, Dr. Nguyen Hit Ho, was there. So yeah, uh, basically total of three pages. I don't think anybody would read that. But let's see what the last page has. So here they uh, inform that uh, people receive different uh, like bonuses, premia for their uh, achievements in literature, art, and architecture in 1969. Then they're talking that they introduced new metal for hard work uh, or 
military service to celebrate 100 years since the birth of Vladimir Lenin. So this medal was introduced because Lenin was born in 1870, so in 1970 was 100 years since his birth. So and that's the years when Brezhnev was in power. He loved medals. So they were introducing all new medals all the time. Here we got order from the Minister of the Defense of the Soviet Union. Once again about celebrating October Revolution and congratulations with that. So as you see the whole paper, really nothing to read in this particular, I mean, and here about uh, vegetable growers uh, were competing uh, to meet with uh, uh, great honor, the 100 years of the birth of Lenin, so they harvested crops really well. <laughs> Uh, bread to the government, Chleb Gasudarstvu. So once again, because the birth of uh, 100 years or since the day of birth of Vladimir Lenin, we, they really g did a good job growing uh, wheat. Uh, comrades from uh, Belarus uh, did a really good job growing potatoes. <laughs> oh my God, it's the country I grew up in. Oh my God, what am I? <laughs> and a great success of all the... Uh, Workers, uh, basically, земледельцы, so people who work on land, so like farmers in Ukraine, but of course it's collective farm. So under uh, руководство, under government, uh, governance of party organizations, the celebrating hundred years, successfully harvested bread. I mean, the zerno grain. Got 12 million grain and oh my goodness i mean this is the whole newspaper about these great successes to celebrate 100 years since birth of comrade lenin so this is the flavor of newspapers uh, there's the address moscow street of pravda so this newspaper village life address was ulitsa pravda the street of the truth which is the other newspaper oh my gosh Anyway, so this is what the uh, uh, Soviet newspapers look like. And while we're on the topic of the newspapers, I want to show off. Uh, so this is Arlovska Pravda, the truth of Ariol, which is the uh, city in Russia. So this is already 1999. I lived in the United States and I wrote an article and I sent it to that newspaper because uh, my friend's father worked there, and still, they see, it's already Russia, Soviet Union is gone, but they still show their award. Uh, so this newspaper published my article about working in America. They actually published several of my articles. Uh, this one was part two, uh, called uh, on a, at American Farm. So it's about my experience working a tremendous food farm here in Michigan. Uh, those of you guys who purchased my book, American Diaries 1995, will recognize. Uh, so yeah, I uh, before the book was written, this is the article uh, that I was sharing my experience about coming to America, working in a summer camp, and then the second article was about working on the farm, and there's a quote in the beginning of the uh, late uh, farmer Herbert, he told me that you're supposed to sort apples with both hands, otherwise you'll have to raise the price because you're sorting apples too slowly. So yeah, uh, there's a kind of cool thing, my article in the Russian newspaper from 1999. <laughs>
Hey, by the way, the cool merch for cool comrades is available at the Ushanka store at teespring.com. Just a friendly reminder that my book American Diaries is available on Amazon.com or shoot me an email if you would like to have a signed copy. Thank you! And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Ushanka Show. For as little as one dollar you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet